Will you live longer than you actually want? Yeah, at first that might seem like a pretty silly question, but let's pursue this a little bit further. Now, I read an article a little while back titled, A Longer Lifespan, If We Can Afford It. <laughs> now, it began by saying this, today's Americans are going to live much longer than they think. What does that mean for their financial futures? So here's the thing though, many people don't actually see themselves living all that long past retirement age. And well, why would they want to anyway? Because old age is often thought of as nothing more than a long, slow, tedious slide into disability, sickness, and feebleness. So even if everyone could make it to 100, would they really want to? Dr. Thomas Pearls, a specialist in aging and longevity, is determined to kill the common myth that the older you get, the sicker you get. In his study on centenarians, that is, people over 100 years old, he found that most of them had taken excellent care of themselves throughout their lives, which meant they were really healthy and independent well into their 90s. So Pearls coined a new adage. He said, the older you get, the healthier you've been. And he believes that most Americans have the genetic blueprint to live at least into their late 80s, depending on what they do with that blueprint. In studying Seventh-day Adventists, and according to the dictates of their religion, they are forbidden to smoke, drink, or eat meat, while being encouraged to exercise regularly and pray frequently. <laughs> Which, of course, immediately brings to mind Woody Allen's incisive quote, you can live to be a hundred if you give up all the things that make you want to live to be a hundred. So the fact that most Adventists live into their 80s and 90s is proof that longevity is not determined by genes alone because, well, Adventists come from all regions, ethnicities, and walks of life. Now that's not to say that having protective genes doesn't help as about 15 to 20 percent of us do. But among the centenarians that Dr. Pearl studied, some had good genes, others didn't. So what can we do to ensure our longevity? Well, not surprisingly, Pearl suggests that taking simple actions every day can have a major impact on our later years, which means don't smoke, avoid junk food, exercise regularly, and be sure to allow for relaxation and rejuvenation. Who knew? Okay, so let's go back to the original question. Will you live longer than you actually want? If you don't have your health, the answer is almost a certain yes. But if you're feeling good, why leave? See, our future, it will arrive. It always does, and it always seems to get here quicker than we thought, which means focusing on enjoying a life of health is absolutely paramount with the key word being enjoy. As Woody Allen's quote so presciently phrased it, if life isn't fun, what's the point? So no, we absolutely don't have to, nor should we give up all the things that make us want to live to be a hundred. But we do have to eat well, get enough sleep, avoid chronic stress, and be physically active. And how is that not fun? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.